Happy Thursday, everyone. Today, December 3rd, this is a pick a card reading for everyone. Um, you pick a card that is your most, your main energy, but I do pull it all together. So for the ones that are new, and if you're born today, December 3rd, we'll do your reading next. Okay, so if you pick card number one for December 3rd, Thursday, you have the Knight of Cups. Nice. Okay. What I'm feeling here is much better energy. There's a lot of help around you, offers of love. These could be just blessings coming in. Very nice energy, okay? Um, I feel here that there is a sense of um, maybe a gift. Some of you may receive a gift or um, someone maybe goes and takes you shopping. <laughs> it's like a shopping spree, I want to say. There is something maybe, um, there's a sense of some of someone out there maybe some, buying something, spending money on a luxury item too is what I'm picking up. I do feel there's going to be some sudden change here too. So expect some kind of quick change. Um, very creative energy. Maybe this is a date. Maybe you have a romantic evening with someone. I don't know. It's like I feel music, listening to music. It's all of that is a present. I also pick up a Libra energy uh, for some uh, for, for someone out there, maybe present or someone who exhibits those energies. I do feel there's um, the sense of woo, financial ind uh, independence. A change of direction, career, home, thoughts of moving or something like that and makes you happy. That's what I'm feeling for some of you. If you pick card number two for December 3rd, Thursday, you have the page of wands. Uh, to me, pay attention to messages. You may get some news today is what I'm feeling too. Okay. Um, this could be from someone that you do know. I don't know it, but message or an idea may be coming through. It's, it's in the beginning stages. There's new beginnings here. For some of you, this could be um, um, matters of the heart, family dynamics or matters of the heart. Um, there is something here that there's been either a separation or you've been separated from someone and then you hear from someone is a possibility, someone that may hurt you. Um, now be careful of people's unwanted opinions or their doubts or their little two cents that they're putting in. Okay. You've learned some lessons here. That's one thing I'm feeling too. So I do see that and taking more control here, separating from anything that is not right either. There can be a message of um, to some of you or you hear some kind of news if it's in the love life, two's company, three's a crowd is what I'm feeling. That's for some, okay? For others, it's just, um, you know, um, a message coming in that you've been separated maybe from someone. New beginnings are there too. If you pick card number three for December 3rd, Thursday, you have the Ace of Swords. Mm, very interesting. Um, this is a very powerful new beginning, all right? Endings, new beginnings. This can be some truths being revealed or some kind of information coming through. Um, you've been holding on tightly to some kind of energy, maybe. Um, you've been kind of like weighing your options for some of you, and now you get some news about it, and you're like, aha, I was right, is what I'm feeling. I feel uh, this is going to help you get a lot of things under control. For some of you, maybe dealing with a Gemini energy. Uh, now it's time to kind of relax and... Um, Take some time to think some things over, especially if some news came in, okay? So that's one thing I do feel here. All right, when we pull this together, Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, and Ace of Swords. Not that bad, right? I feel there are some challenges uh, today for all of us overall, or don't bite off more than you can chew, but you'll get some things done. I do feel that. There could be a, a check coming in, like money or new money or something um, that's been slow moving. I do feel that too. We may be dealing with a Scorpio or Scorpio type of energy too. There are some delays we may have to deal with, but they are in our favor because something uh, is revealed then. Uh, for, for some of you, um, this is planning maybe a trip, maybe to get away, a trip, Um uh, to, to travel. So I do see that for some of you. And I do, uh, I feel there's a strong new idea or new beginning or something is like, um, made amends and, um, bright it all it will follow into, um, I think the spring, like few more months from now too. So something there is active too, or maybe plans to travel in spring. I don't know, something like that. Okay. Well, I hope you have a wonderful um, Thursday for December 3rd today. Now, if you're born today, December 3rd, or you know someone, happy birthday. This is a very quick um, reading, your soul or your theme and your wish card so you can make a wish. People ask me if I do um, offer these readings. I do very similar to this, plus a lot of others. Uh, it's on my website. It's under the solar year readings. All right, so your theme for the solar year is the 
Three of Pentacles. Okay, so this is great, especially if you're going to be going back to school, um, dealing with school, um, dealing with institutions, uh, so to speak, big companies, I think. This is setting new projects, some growth, um, very creative energy, too. Um, just make sure you get your you get your finances in order too. So I do see that energy. Sometimes this is um where you have to kind of debt consolidate. Um, you know negotiations, maybe some uh, major settlements this year maybe coming through. It's a year too that I think you're going to have to push through. You have obstacles to get through and um uh, certain things during the solar year. We all do anyway, but that's what I'm saying. But pushing through is going to be very important. Now, if you do start a project or you work with um maybe a partnership in a business or something. There could be three entities, but I feel also here that um, there's some competitive energy here. And be careful of bullying or um, being bull bullied by others or being too pushy as well. It could work both ways. So I do see that, en um, that energy. You've got obstacles to get through, a lot of things to kind of settle through your solar year, but you'll get there one step at a time, okay? So you've got a lot to, or either goals or plans to, uh, like, take off your, you know, it's like a to-do list, all right? I see very generous energy this year. This is a year where you should be balancing your finances, maybe getting a loan um, or a bonus maybe is um, showing up. You may be called on to help someone out. If someone helps you out, reciprocate it is what I'm seeing here. It's like one hand washes another. So I do see that energy coming through. Um, I do feel with um, work, career, and school, or whatever you do most of the day, counsel is going to be very important. Getting advice, um, therapy. Um, I don't know why I said therapy, but that came out of my mouth maybe. But it's, it's like someone who can advise you. Um, talks are going to be very, very important. Okay, so And then ultimately making your choice is very important. Wisdom, Intuition is helps you guide you. I feel a significant water sign energy or someone who exhibits those energies is going to figure prominently in those areas this year and will be very helpful. When it comes to uh, finances, um, I do see a lot of you hard work and perseverance is going to pay off. I think some of you may have do overtime. Um, or you're, you may be working on something on the side. You may have your main job and then doing a hobby on the side, which is going to pay off tenfold. Putting your heart and soul into something um, like a hobby or something, a creative a pursuit is going to bring you some rewards. So I do see that energy. Money should be coming in too. But it's money that you worked hard for too and rewards, okay? When it comes to love, if you are single, I do see a lot of dating, okay? It's just the beginning stages. Lo um, offers of love, I see a lot more of uh, flirtatious energy, maybe a few dates and that kind of not long term till something settles down. But either way, there's a rebirthing and a refreshment there. Um, for if you're in a relationship, this could be a year where you plan to um, have an addition to the family. I see a child may come in very significantly for some reason. Um, I do see, again, um, a lot more like um, it's a rebirthing in your relationship. So I do see that. Um, do not make any promises you cannot keep in all relationships. All right. So that's one thing. Either if you promise something, be a person of your word and uh, the same with others, too. So make sure the two relationship, there's a fresh start. There's changes in relationships and fresh starts. But keeping your word is going to be important as long and, and the same with um, others. OK, so I do see um, that energy coming through. All right. Um, I feel a strong water water sign people um, or the um, presence in the reading. So people who exhibits the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or exhibits those energies are going to be present during the solar year for a lot of you and very helpful too. Okay, your wish for your solar year. You have the four of wands. Now, um, what I feel here is you know the truth. There's something there that's perseverance and patience is going to help you. Um, there is a yes for, for some of you. This is the way I'm feeling. It's a general reading, but it's going to come with a lot of transformations and it could be hitting something with, um, building solid roots. Now, for some of you, it's almost like there's a no because there's a karmic debt here. Um, there's still clearing of a karma or, or your intentions are not exactly clear. So you have to kind of keep your word or you have to set your loyalty straight. I don't know, something like that, or that, you know, the dynamics, um, or there's, um, there's a sudden change of a situation. So then it's better to wish for something else, but there, uh, for a lot of you, it's yes, but it comes with a lot of transformations. Okay. So that's one thing I do see. 
The important numbers for your solar year is 7, 4, 8, 6, 3, and I feel 10. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead. And for everyone else, a wonderful Thursday. And bye for now.